Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris from Dixieland Farm and today I am going to repartition my hard drive. So what are you talking about? Well, a couple of days ago I ran out of hard drive space. The temporary directory got overfilled um, and this normally is not a, uh, a, a normal occurrence because there's a program that actually looks at the temporary directory and cleans it out. But due to a bug during an upgrade uh, for that program that cleans out the temporary directory, it no longer cleans out that temporary directory. So I had to manually do it. But uh, then noticing uh, my hard drive space is at 84%. Uh, I partitioned this hard drive. What that means is you got the whole hard drive and then you make little containers, right? And the operating system container, I set at 20 gigs, which in the past for Linux is fine, but a little more robust, a little more doing more stuff here. I should, probably should have made it 40 gigs. So that is what I'm going to do. And Chris, why did you make it so small? Well, because of these particularly exactly what just happened. If there was a runaway, the only thing it's going to fill up is the operating system. All my data, all my good stuff is going to be partitioned out and fine. If I accidentally erase the operating system, I don't accidentally erase my um, data because it's partitions. You know, it's the little things like that, that, that it's a good idea to partition the hard drive. So um, we're going to do this old school because there's no way to record the screen while I use it. And I'm going to be using the G parted program. So G stands for GNOME and part is partition and ed is editor. You find that a lot in Linux where the names are actually not very inventive. Um, there are two competing uh, what they call paint engines. One for GNOME, uh, G-N-O-M-E, or KDE. So a lot of KDE programs, I'm a KDE guy tend to start with K, K wallet, K 3B, K, you know, it's all these K's, uh, Kden Live, which is an editor, uh, and then the GNOME programs are, and you can flip-flop between the two, um, start with a G, great program, um, and so this is a live operating system, so I'll just boot from this USB so I can work on the system disks, and I will change the partitions. So you can see here, SDA1, is 16 gigs filled. There's three gigs left. We're at 84%. Now, let's start the program. You know, the trickiest thing of this is always trying to find the boot device on the computer. So, here we go. It starts right up. Default settings are just fine. Hit enter, and then it goes ahead and starts booting. And the program starts just like that. Did I forget to mention that uh, this is a delicate procedure? This is something that should go in lightly because it's going to be moving lots of data and changing the partition table. There is a chance that this entire system can be wiped out. It's a very small chance. This program is fantastic, but there is a chance. It's always nerve wracking, so you always got to back up the data. So I'm going to go change the partition tables now. I'm going to put you down so I can concentrate on what I'm doing, and then we'll see the progress. So you can see here. I'm dropping it from 269 to 249. So I'm going to move the one partition first. Look at that hard drive spinning away. So now that it's resized the partition, it is now moving the data. All right, so let's go through quickly what I'm doing here, right? So it makes sense for you. So I need to make uh, more room on the operating system right here. And uh, to do that, I have to shrink the home or uh, you know everything else, my data. So, and there's a little swap partition in the middle, and that's the easiest partition to, to move. Uh, so, what we're doing is we're actually uh, shrinking this, then we're going to move that swap over, and then we're going to move that operating system and make it bigger. And for the swap partition, we're actually just going to take the whole partition and just move it. And now to resize the drive. So here we are now. We have 39 gigs, 40 gigs, swap drive moved, and then the uh, home and data partition moved. Chris, you changed outfits. Yeah, we had to go out and go get hay. So here we go. We are done. We are going to reboot and hope everything works. Mm. The moment of truth. Does it boot? We are booting. 
And you can see now we've gone from 84% used to 42% used. Hey Chris, we have a new jacket. It's hot outside, I had to take it off. I just had to drop back in here to do some laundry before I go back outside and clean the barn. So that's where the jacket went. So we successfully enlarged the partition. Our problem should be solved, especially once they get that bug uh, updated. So again, the reason why I have the operating system and its own partition is if something ever happens to that partition, I just rewrite that partition and my data is safe on its own partition. If I ever wanted to, let's say, upgrade, but I didn't want to commit, I could actually build another partition in that free space that uh, was on my home partition, make a, another partition, put the operating system on there, test it out, and then when I'm happy, I could just swap it over. A lot of reasons why you want to use a partition. And Gparted is a good tool to change the size of them, move them around, things like that, work on them. So, from Nixon Land Farm, everybody, thanks so much for watching this uh, geeky video. Take care.